To test the new hidden update, I needed to leave my base inactive. Fortunately, I have the perfect account, which I haven't logged into for almost one year. And I carefully set it up specifically for this automatic upgrade feature. Let's see what it looked like back then. This is my Town Hall 15 with all level one defenses. The cannons, archer tower, wizard tower, air defense, everything all at level one. The only exception is the heroes because we spent 3 million Dark Elixir upgrading them in one video. However, when I created this account and gemmed it to Town Hall 15, the purpose was to leave it inactive to see how far it upgrades. I have left the barracks and the dark barracks at level 1, meaning we can only cook up the barbarians and minions, but I'm intrigued as to whether the automatic upgrade feature will upgrade the barracks and then upgrade those newly unlocked troops within the laboratory or whether it means when we go to attack our own base, we only have barbarians and minions. I think I'm going to leave this base layout so now we can log out of the account. I'm actually going to remove the Supercell ID so that I don't accidentally log into this account. The re-engagement feature should now be triggered, so let's purposely log back in. The update patch notes said there is a daily reward and special challenges. I'm excited to explore that and this feature now will trigger after after only 35 days of inactivity. Previously, it was 90. There's also only six months of a cooldown. Oh my goodness, did you see the base upgrading itself in the background? Not a step closer. So it's worked. The tutorial is, I guess, the same. The villager still hasn't learned that I am not a disguised goblin. We are done with our resources being stolen by everyone. I can see the queen level there, actually, level 42. So the archer queen has only been upgraded to levels. You won't get anything without a fight. Now, this is what we were saying. Which troops do I have? So I have the barbarians and archers and hog riders. So it's upgraded my dark barracks and it's chosen to upgrade those troops as well up to level four because everything was level one. Okay, what do I do here? <laughs> There's a hole in my base right there, but there's zero splash damage around it. I guess that's where I should send in my barbarians and archers, though. Now, they'll probably go down pretty quick, although my defenses are level one. Or are they? What level is that wizard tower? Use a lightning spell onto the town hall, even though... Did that do damage on... Oh, no, it did damage on the wall behind it. We will get reinforcement troops every 10 seconds. It might take a while. The battle builder is repairing that. Oh, that's a good idea. Should I just let the multi-target Inferno and the Eagle Artillery get repaired before I send in more barbarians and they just instantly go down? <laughs> How long do I have? Just so you know, I do have set up a base specifically with the barbarians and archers where I am going to try and endlessly just deploy the troops. How many can I deploy? Be sure to subscribe for when we do that. It doesn't look like it's giving us reinforcement troops. Why is that? Did it already give us them? Oh, I have 15 hog riders now. Maybe it gave us hog riders. Let's put the archers in and see what happens with those. Let's go. Look at them. How long is the wizard tower going to take? Oh! Oh, two shots. Okay, let's get some hog riders in from the top. Get some archers in behind in order to clean up. Then we get reinforcement hog riders. How many hog riders could we get onto the base? Let's continue to just deploy them from the top. So they have to travel all of the way through. Oh, now it gave me barbarians. Let's stick all the barbarians at the top. Let's use that lightning spell on the town hall, even though it does nothing. Raged up inactive inferno towers. How deadly. <laughs> Wow, these hog riders, despite being level four, are wrecking my level one base. Now, I guess it's not level one anymore. What I am most intrigued about seeing is the new daily login feature and the special challenges. There we go. 100%, three stars, 45 hog riders. Let's see what's been happening on my Town Hall 1 through 15 base. You are pretty strong for a goblin. You're not a goblin. Is it really you? Thank goodness you are back. Well, I did debate leaving this base until Town Hall 16, but with the feature changing, I decided now would be the perfect time to log in. Oh, this is it. A lot has happened since you left. Let's go meet 
everyone. But before that, one more thing. This is the part of the tutorial that wasn't here before. Just one more thing. They did say daily login and special challenges. Here we go. You will get a reward each day you come back. And there is a hammer of building. Wow. What a reward. Shouldn't they just add this to the game anyway? A book of building for logging in on day two. Let's claim that power potion and 18 hours before I can log in and get that book of building. Let's see what upgraded around the base and see the new special challenges. Oh, that's right, the Halloween event. Okay, let's get this placed. Do I, oh my goodness. Look at all of those arrows. <laughs> I've got so many other accounts to worry about. I wonder if I could leave the Sour Elixir Cauldron on my broken base. I'd have to test out that theory. Let's check out the barracks first. The troops are really excited to have you back. I bet training will be really fast for a little while. Oh, that's right. It's literally just the speed boost, but we do get it for five days. And my barracks was only level two. So that's why I only had the barbarians and archers. What about the dark barracks? We got the hog rider that's level two as well interesting so we literally couldn't take any of the troops into that attack what should we look at next oh there's the arrow by the season challenges look that must be the new feature that is added let's check the laboratory we know that the barbarians archers and hog riders went to level four and the minions as well because it couldn't upgrade anything else oh the wall wrecker and obviously the spells we had the lightning and heal spell how many did it upgrade when i left my other town hall 15 inactive for a year but we had upgraded the barracks on that one see if we have some resources to start something right away i have not enough resources because i have 22,000 elixir however one beautiful thing about the inactive feature is the loot card 18 million earlier visitors dropped this while they were running away let's collect them and start some upgrades it always looks so good at 18 million though in the shop as well oh my gosh 20 times value 5 million gold and 500 gems i don't really need them if you are purchasing anything though obviously the c in the top right supports my channel with code judo before purchases it is very much appreciated. Okay, let's check out the builder and then the season challenges. Builder built some things while you were away. Please sign your approval here and here. What did he do? Oh my goodness. Seven elixir collectors. Oh, to seven elixir collectors to level two. No, we only got one of them to level three, unfortunately. Army camps, that's always helpful for our offense alongside the barracks. Eight archer towers to level two. 325 walls to level two, three, four, five and only 116 that were chosen for level six. Wizard Tower, Air Defense, all just going to level two. Wow, didn't want to upgrade much further than that, did you? And the hero levels, so the Barbarian King only went up one level, Queen went up two, Warden went up one, and the Royal Champion only went up two levels as well. So not amazing on the upgrade front. Builder also had plans for what we could be doing next. Check his list of ideas. Oh, it didn't say that for the laboratory. Here you can find suggestions of what to build or upgrade next but obviously they have now added the lab suggestions as well i think people get the idea though season challenge menu what does this to oh gosh i'm so intrigued is, is it gonna look exactly the same oh it's kind of like the free season pass you get when you're below town hall seven here are some special challenges for you to tackle the six of them and then we have the rewards join a clan <laughs> Research one upgrade in the laboratory. Start two building upgrades. Daily star bonus, four stars, and deploy 900 troops. Should we do it real quick? Okay, let's upgrade. So let's just go with elixir collectors. Elixir storage, that'll do. Does that come? Yes, there's a number two down there. That completes that challenge. Search one upgrade in the laboratory. What is the cheapest upgrade? Can I get a dark elixir one upgrading? No, I can't. I guess I'm collecting my loot cart. Oh, my storages only allows 2 million elixir. Well, I guess that means I've still got lots in there for as I need it. Let's get the barbarian upgraded. Okay, that's that one done. Oh, with the boost, we can get the barge cooked up pretty quick. Scatter shots are out of that. Am I going to be able to do this? I actually don't know. Let's just spam everything in. King, queen, warden, king ability, queen ability, warden ability. I'm just spamming all of the barbarians and archers in because we do need to deploy a lot of them as well. I see ability. Ooh. Oh my goodness, the royal champion getting upgraded to level 6 
actually came in clutch because we had the ability. 960 troops need deployed. Let's power through the rest of these. As I complete these challenges, I wanted to let you know this change is only for Town Hall 7 and above. If you are Town Hall 6 and below, you will not see these special challenges. You will have the current starter challenges instead. You stars. Let's go. This will be the last attack and how fitting. A level one Town Hall 14 base. Let's see if we can even get it. Spread the botch around the outside to almost create a little bit of a funnel for my heroes. Okay, looking good. King ability. Come on, get the barbs in range. He's just out of range of the barbarians. Ah, oh, and the queen steps in. Come on, Archer Queen. I guess I'll use my warden ability then because there's nothing else I can protect right now. <laughs> okay. That should be the season challenges done. I also invited myself to my recording clan. There's someone wanting to talk to you. He seems quite rude. Oh, the clan capital tutorial. <laughs> Thank you, villager. I need to get back to the new season challenge. Here we go. Challenges completed. Three days is all you get to complete that. We smashed that in under one hour. But what do you get? 1.5 million gold. Can't get it. 1.5 million elixir. Can't get it. 10 million dark elixir. Can't get it. 3 million gold. Can't get it. I need to spend all of my loot. Well, that's pretty nice, I guess. Do I have to collect that in order to move forward? What are the most expensive things to upgrade? Dark Build elixir storage? I'm going to get rid Problem of the dark solved. elixir. Oh, you know what? Let's just convert it to gems. Here we go. And good work, sheep. Now you're ready to continue the journey. And the final thing the patch notes said is that it brings you into the season challenges, but the points you earned actually move across into the gold pass. Oh, what's this? Psst, don't tell anyone, but I gave some points to help you finish the season. Sorry, villager. I just shared that with 2.6 million subscribers. All in all, I really like the changes they've added to this re-engagement feature. Once I've done the botch experiment, I'll link that here. Until then, this is when I was inactive for one year.